Hello, my wonderful dear from brothers and sisters. On our way down, oh, good morning to you all. My name never changed. I don't come again. Oh, I still remain Ukute Daily Talk, giving to you this very important news and update coming from my platform. Make when I hear this headline, oh, coming from my lawyer, you say, Jimako. The lead counsel to Mazin Nandekano, according to him, Buhari fueled insecurity in Southeast. Alaishi Sejimako alleges and blames the Fulani government of Nigeria about the insecurity that is ravaging the southeastern part of the country. Other headlines we have here of France agrees to withdraw ambassador troops from Niger Republic. At last, they have agreed to let the Nigerians brave. This one is an Obonga headline where we say everybody waiting for this platform who supposed to choke mouth for this matter because these people have been taking more than they can chew in the land of the Africans. Another headline we have here, this one is Nigerian news and also politics of Nigeria. An APC chieftain don't come out to con the big Oga to Numbu. And the, late, the headline reads Save our members or save members of our party from disgrace. Unveil your result to article APC chieftain. Eze begs Oga Bubu. Sorry, Oga to Numbu. <laughs> I beg to save your people from the shame. I don't know what is important about this, your credentials or your academic credentials that you are hiding from the public. Or maybe the credentials did not belong to you. Because if this credential truly belong to Tunumbu, I don't see the reason why this, this man is trying everything humanly possible to keep it away from the general public. Hey, APC. Anything that the APC cannot do does not exist. Believe it or believe it. That is the way we find ourselves. That APC, the only party that makes us to know what we call today as unknown god men, or you can call them unknown bishops. Na, na APC. Ale I beg you, make us, uh, make on, uh, they try share this message. Like, comment, and then subscribe to my channel for better experience as we are about to read in between the lines. Remember today, na Tuesday, and it happens to be. The 26th day in the month of September, all in the year of 2023. Uh, my wonderful people, I beg, let us read in between the lines. I'll be right back. Aloysi Sejimako, the special counsel to Mazen Namdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has alleged that former President of the Fulani government of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, fueled the insecurity in the southeast by refusing to release the Biafra agitator and uh, the, to, uh, freedom of Mazen Namdekano with him and the so called Attorney General of the Federation, Malami. Ejimako made the claim that while lamenting that uh, Bolam Tunumbu continued the vicious circle by refusing to release Kano even when the court said so. He pointed out that uh, Kano's arrest, rendition and detention were part of the agenda to fuel insecurity in the southeast. They know what they are doing and that is they have achieved their aim. Tweeting Edimako wrote, Buhari's rendition and detention of Nam the Kano and his uh, violent suppression of dissent in the southeast were part of his broader agenda to fuel insecurity in Ibo land. This has been a plan. They, 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 they have already uh, mapped out this plan for a very long time and they found the avenue to execute the plan through, through the, the Supreme Court in Imo State by making Hope Uzo Dinja the governor of Imo State, even when he is not a winner or qualified to be the governor. It is baffling that a matter. That official part has allowed this to continue by not releasing Mazin Namdekano, it is a vicious cycle. According to Aloysius Ejimako, 
the focus on the judiciary and resort to civil disobedience for the release of Maze Namdekano is only because Britain has been reluctant to levy her diplomatic clout like it did in the case of the attempted rendition of Umaru Diko in 1984 at Rishi Sunak must rise to the occasion according to Special Counsel to Mazenam de Kano Aloysius Ejimako. French President Emmanuel Macron has said that his country will withdraw its ambassadors and troops from the Niger in the wake of the July coup that overthrew democratically elected President Mamadou Bazoum. Macron in a, telev a televised interview on Sunday said military cooperations with Niger was over and that 1,500 French troops stationed in the country would withdraw in the months and weeks to come with a full pullout by the end of the year. But I don't I never see anything. France has decided to withdraw its ambassador in the next hours. Our ambassador and several diplomats will return to France, Macron said in a televised interview. French exit comes after weeks of pressure from the military and popular demonstrations. Thousands of people have protest, uh, prote uh, protested in recent weeks in the capital, Niamey, including outside a military base housing uh, French soldiers. Niger's new rulers, who had been demanding France exit after Macron refused to recognize the July 26 coup, welcomed the French president's announcement. This Sunday, we celebrate a new step towards the sovereignty of Niger, they said in a statement read out on national television. This is a historic moment which sparks to the determination and will of the Nigeria, Nigerian people, they added, according to the Juntas. The development comes as France troops have also been asked to leave its former colonies Mali and Burkina Faso. This is definitely a small victory for the government in transition and perhaps an embarrassment for the French who have seen Mali, Burkina Faso and now a third country in the Sahel where it is being asked by the government in place to leave the country, said Al Jazeera's Nicolas Haki, reporting from Senegal's capital city, Dakar. He, the French ambassador, has essentially been held hostage inside the embassy. The Niger security forces wouldn't let anyone in or out. He has been surviving on the food rations inside the embassy. With tensions mounting, Macron said he told the outside Bazoum on Sunday that French had decided to bring back his ambassador. And in the coming hours, our ambassador and several diplomats will return to France, where they belong, according to Macron. Macron reaffirmed France's position that Bazoum was being held hostage and remained the sole legitimate authority in the country. He was targeted by this coup d'etat because he was carrying out courageous reforms and because there was a largely ethnic settling of scores. Uh, and a lot of political cowardice, according to Macron. This one, hey, I just cry like a baby. Pack your chains and leave the African continent and go and mind your business. Let me see how your people will survive, if not with the, the raw materials that is coming from our land. Mm, that are nonsense people. Save our members eh, of our party from disgrace. Unveil your result to Atiku. APC Chief 10, Eze, Bex Ogatudumbu. The SY National Public Secretary of the Defunct New People's Democratic Party, NPDP, and the Chief 10 of the All Poverty Congress, APC, <coughs> in River State, Eze, Chukwe Meka Eze, had reacted to the uh, Bolambe Tumbu's move to stop Chicago State University from releasing his academic records to the president. 
to, sorry to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar. Okute News recalled that the president has asked the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago to permit the university to release only his certificate to Atiku and block the school from revealing any other information about the person who owns the certificate, especially the agenda and any records of where they went to school, among other things. <laughs> Anything APC cannot do does not exist. Reacting to the development is the Otunumbu to free himself of impending global infamy and save members of APC from disgrace and shame by allowing the seamless unveiling of his academic record as ordered by the court. Speaking via a statement, as I said, the Tunumbu has relied on the protective uh, cloak of privacy rights which extend to academic records to forset any investigation into his alleged claim of having graduated from the Chicago State University, but the court had ruled in Atiku's favor. Then what are you running for? Why are you running? He said, Atiku is fighting just a cause, and by the expose of his doggedness, the lapses in, the, in our electoral laws and institutions pertaining to verification of documents put forward by the seekers of public offices have been brought to the fore and should be addressed by the framers of laws anytime soon. He claimed that some public office holders were consummate forgers of academic records and certificates they do not hold. The APC chieftain said if Utunumbu was killing with the chief uh, sorry with the Chicago State University academic records he paraded over the years and which he presented on oath to INEC. What then was he trying to hide from Nigerians? This one is coming from an APC chieftain for you to know that one day even the so-called INEC chairman and the rest of them uh, Fesu Sokoye know that this guy is not clean. That is why all of them is fighting at Tico. All of them. Let me tell you what is happening in Chicago. That in the that court. Not only uh, Atiku's uh, lawyer M M I N E C have lawyer there. APC have lawyer there. What do they call them? Uh, Azorok, their lawyer is also there. Because what they are hiding from the public we made open anytime soon. We were awaiting. If the certificate from the Chicago State University is authentic, why strive so hard and spend so much to forsake efforts to reveal it to an interested party, Atiku Abubakar? Who has a pending appeal challenging his declaration by the electoral umpire as winner of the 2023 presidential pool? He added. So, my wonderful people, and I don't hear about this one now from APC Chief 10. He don't come, come clear the ground, come let us know. Say, the, pe the person will bring certificate. Say, this one, I certificate you. And I don't say when they release the everything academic records transcript, it's going to come with the pictures. So that picture is what this man is hiding. Let him not make it public because the picture is a picture of a woman, not a man. Anything Agbado and APC cannot do, can never and will never existed. That is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth of the whole matter. Anyway, my wonderful people, my viewers and subscribers, I beg now here, I go take leave on. And I don't say, I see they manage my voice. Please, as you are watching, make sure you are sharing, liking, commenting. And above all, make sure... You subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon for better experience. And as we proceed, other news are still on the line to come. Not minding my voice, but I must surely fulfill my daily obligations by bringing the latest and breaking news to your doorstep. I am not giving up because <laughs> I have signed this uh, deal and I must surely compliment it. So my wonderful dear from brothers and sisters, all my Nigerian people, are you from Obudo Ibo? Are you from Africa? I beg anyway, why the I did the hustle. I carry my own greeting. I can't give you. Say, I'm going to wait on you. They're going to take this one to jollificate. Because I'll be right back with another blockbuster. Have a nice day. And may this day bring us joy, uh, upliftment, open doors, and protection above all. Everything that we desire today must surely come to us. My wonderful people, have a nice day. May the good Lord bless you all, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'll be right back. Bye for now, my wonderful people. Que me siano.